Good morning. I'm Nikki Stanzione. And I'm Kristen Van Dyke. And this <laughs> is New Mexico Style. And clearly, it's Fat Tuesday. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. holding my mask for drama. Mm -hmm. You like that? You yeah. Oh, look at you. Wow, dramatic. Yes. I love Fat Tuesday. Last day of the carnival season. The mm -hmm. last day to be decadent. And tomorrow, of course, is Ash Wednesday, the first day of Lent, <laughs> when we change our wicked weights for 40 days. So the big question every year is, do you give up anything for Lent? What about you, Nikki? No, I really don't. Um, I could give up. I could try to give up being so dramatic. I yes. don't know if that'll ever work. I don't know if that'll ever happen in my life. It's but no, now. I should probably try to give up so much reality TV. I'm finding myself starting to become a mm -hmm. little too addicted. Feather. You have a feather too. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, that I love um, about uh, when people say they're giving something up for Lent is that it gives people some discipline, you know, in their mm -hmm. lives. They're like forcing themselves to do yep. something differently. Do you right. give anything up? Last year I did chocolate. It was oh, tough. It is it tough. It was really tough that. to do that. Do you remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so um, uh, this year, I haven't decided yet. So I, I got to still think about it. But I guess I don't have much time left to think, huh? Yeah, not a lot of time. It's uh, like now. Maybe I can give up movement of my left arm. <laughs> That'd be too easy. That's right? a good thing. Maybe I should give up chips. Chips is another weakness. But, you know, as long as we work out, who cares? You only That's live true. once, right? That's right? Another Mardi Gras tradition is the king cake. Take a look right. at this. This is the cake for the king. Of course. <laughs> the, the tradition was uh, brought to the southern United States by colonists mm -hmm. from France. And it's a real of twisted bread that you can see here and it's topped with icing uh, usually in the Mardi Gras color so you have the yellow the purple and the green and of course the purple represents justice green represents faith and the gold represents power I love that and here's the cool. fun part the most fun part is the little trinket right. that comes inside the cake okay this little small trinket is often a little small plastic baby <laughs> I mean really it really is it's like one of those little babies you put in a dollhouse and the trinket actually must provide the one who finds the trinket mm -hmm. must provide the next king cake or they have to host the next it's Mardi Gras party we should probably try it right we I should. mean start the morning off with a little king cake yeah okay let me I'll, go, I'll dig in first okay. I don't want to mess up my pretty dress no, because you are all dressed up today. Mm. How is mm. it? Tastes kind of like Cinnabons, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a good thing. I like this. <laughs> and yeah, I am I am rather dressed up today. It's a black tie day on New Mexico style mm -hmm. with bridal elegance. We're so excited to show the fashions later on. You don't want to miss it. And you've only seen the first half of this dress. Mm -hmm. Wait till you see the second half. Unbelievable. In the meantime, yeah, while good. we chew, we should probably <laughs> check in with KRQE News 13 morning anchor Elizabeth Alvarez for today's headlines. Happy Mardi Gras. Hey, hey happy Mardi Gras, ladies. You, ladies <laughs> you girls look great. I love the beads. What can I do to get Thank some you. beads over here? We'll Never mind, don't answer that. We'll Price throw them. <laughs> don't do it, don't do it, Elizabeth. I this know, is a morning right? show. I know, I'll find myself some beads. <laughs> Topping your morning news headlines this morning, a judge in Santa Fe has ordered a jury to acquit a former state police sergeant of vehicular homicide. Alfred Lovato has been on trial for a 2008 deadly crash. He was, he was actually the passenger in his friend's car, Carlos Fierro, when police say Fierro was driving drunk and hit and killed a pedestrian and then took off. Prosecutor said Lovato should have known better than to let his friend drive drunk. The defense argued that the state did not prove its case and District Judge Michael Vigil agreed. I think looking at the evidence uh, in the light most favorable to the state, I don't think the state has met the burden set out in State v. Marcus. So I am going to direct an, a, a uh, directed verdict of acquittal on homicide by vehicle. Lovato, though, still faces a charge of leaving the scene of an accident. He could get up to a year and a half for that if he's found guilty. Well, listen to this. A 23-year-old college student goes on trial today in Moriarty for allegedly stealing a pumpkin that's worth a few bucks. Now, she claims it's all a big misunderstanding, but as Kim Vias reports, deputies and the owner of the farm she's accused of stealing the pumpkin from don't agree. It's made national headlines. Woman heads to face judge for forgetting to pay for $2 pumpkin. So what is the real story? Depends on who you ask. It all started the night of October 28th at McCall's Pumpkin Patch in Moriarty during the Haunted Farm Tour. At the Haunted Farm, we do not offer the sale of pumpkins, um, or at least after 10 o'clock, and that was when the incident happened. That night, a deputy keeping an eye on things says she saw 23-year-old Lauren Medina and her male friend 
each grab a pumpkin out of a display barrel and walk to their car. That is when deputies confronted and detained the pair. She wasn't running with a pumpkin. It was a small pumpkin. It wasn't even a pumpkin she could make four pumpkin pies with. A little tiny pumpkin that you hold in your hand, wasn't in her purse, wasn't under her coat. It, there was no intent whatsoever. Medina's sister says it was all a misunderstanding, and when confronted, her sister offered to pay for the pumpkin. But the deputy cited Medina and her friend for shoplifting. The sheriff's department and McCall's say there was nothing to misunderstand. If every guest that came to the farm took a pumpkin without paying, I wouldn't be here. The McCall's say they actually have four to five thefts like this every season. Those cases haven't made the news because the suspects have pled guilty and gotten probation. But in this case, Ms. Medina opted to take it to trial. They wanted probation and it to be on her record, and that is the last thing a young student wants. Medina's family thinks this has all gone too far. People with 10 DWIs get dismissed every day. People that have way bigger records get off. And I'm not sure why this is so, this has gone crazy. The McCalls have another view. Right is right, wrong is wrong. And in this case, I think she's, she's wrong. Kim Baez, KRQE News 13. Now, the McCalls say that the pumpkins that were stolen were actually worth about $5 each. The deputy who cited Medina is expected to testify at today's trial. We'll, of course, keep you posted on what happens. A Santa Fe jewelry store is missing a $40,000 watch this morning. Police say the woman seen in this video went into the Jewel Mark store on Canyon Road last week and told workers that her mother was buying her an expensive watch for graduation. She tried it on. She looked at herself in the mirror with the watch on and, and of course, made the selection. Investigators say, the, investigators say the woman told workers her mother was at an art gallery nearby, then walked out with the Cartier watch. Anyone with information should contact the Santa Fe Police Department. And Santa Fe Police also need your help in catching a different bad guy this morning. Check out this video. A man was asking the clerk at the Frogert store on Rodeo Road last week to how to use the topping bar. Well, this guy goes to pay, and that's when they say he pulled out a knife and robbed the place. Three days earlier, this guy they think is the same guy that robbed a subway store. And get this, on his way out, the, this accused robber accidentally stabbed himself with the knife he used to hold up the place. If you'd believe it. Whatever. All right, this morning, Albuquerque firefighters are monitoring hot spots from several fires that sparked yesterday in the Bosque. A woman in the North Valley spotted flames last night and called the fire department. When firefighters arrived, they found four small brush fires just west of the Nature Center. Now, all of the fires were contained, and the investigation continues this morning. All right, Lobo fans, you know they are howling this morning. The men's basketball team has just cracked two big national polls. The Lobos are 18th in the AP poll and 21st in the ESPN coaches poll. The guys have won seven games in a row, including blowing out number 11 UNLV on national TV on Saturday. Be sure to wear your cherry and silver today if you can. The Lobos take on Colorado State in Fort Collins tonight. Looking forward to that game. I wish them the best of luck. But ladies, I'm going to send it on back to you. Be sure to catch us in the morning with Matt Morrow, Kristen Van Dyke, and myself every weekday morning on Care Kiwi beginning at 5.30 a.m. Got some beads. We should probably call New Orleans and tell them all you have to do is talk about the news. You don't have to do anything know, inappropriate for being there you go. I was going to say, Elizabeth, what would you do for those? <laughs> yeah, I'm not telling. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks, Elizabeth. So, you know, of course, part of the reason we're all, you know, talking about hair and makeup and dresses and gowns this week is because it's Oscar week. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're talking a lot about the red carpet looks for the Oscars. But one thing that we have to also focus on is the actual reason for the Oscars, which is the movie. Oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the movies. And this weekend, of course, we are going to be seeing those Oscars given out to the top movie nominations. It's hard to believe it's side time already. Yeah. And of course, with more on that, Fox's Adam Hasley takes a look at entertainment's biggest night. Sunday's Best Picture Oscar race offers a wide variety of genres and subject matters, all competing for Tinseltown's most coveted prize. 
artist is this year's favorite, a small independent silent film shot in black and white. Its stars are hoping for Oscar gold. It was really impossible just to, to tell you a little story. We didn't have any distributor when we made it. A couple of Oscar-winning directors are nominated again, Martin Scorsese for Hugo and Steven Spielberg for War Horse. Both films earned critical praise but are not considered favorites for the golden statue. What is your mind? God. And Miss Ellie Holbrook. With Viola Davis and Octavia Spencer grabbing SAG awards, The Help is the only Best Picture nominee to surpass the $100 million mark. I'm the backup parent. The Descendants, headlined by George Clooney, had early promise with voters, along with Brad Pitt's Moneyball, which seemed like the most commercial film, but only took in $76 million. It makes me question what is success, what is failure. Maybe it's a string of that. I found something from every decade. In the It's an Honor to be Nominated group are three films that round out the field, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, The Tree of Life, and Woody Allen's comedy Midnight in Paris, which just won a Writers Guild Award for Best Original Screenplay. I'm not quite as taken with him as you are. He's a pseudo-intellectual. Slightly more tannic than the 59. I prefer a smoky feeling. In Hollywood, Adam Housley, Fox News. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I really need to get to the movies. Yes, I know, there's so many I've not seen this year. Last year I felt like I'd seen them all. I know, I know. So. This year we're, we're out of it, but we'll, we'll have something to root for, I'm sure. Yes. I'm looking forward to it. At least definitely good eye candy with a lot of Brad and George. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Now here's an interesting story. TMZ is reporting that Rihanna, who I love, and Chris mm -hmm. Brown have reconciled now at least professionally because you know the former couple have collaborated now on two brand new songs yeah one is a remix of rihanna's song birthday cake you know that one mm -hmm. and the other is a new version of chris brown's turn up the music so uh, take a listen we have a clip of birthday cake you know what, the song I'm sure is great. I mean, that's not, I just feel like the, the, the image it portrays or the mm -hmm. idea after what happened between the two of them. I right. hate to see them, I kind of hate to see them collaborating on something. Yeah, I mean, that's first I of all, I think they're both incredibly talented. You can't take away the fact that Chris Brown is very talented. He's got great songs, he's got a good voice, and he can dance his oh, beauty yeah. off. But that said, what does this say about acceptance? I mean, we want to give second chances in mm -hmm. our lives, but at the same time, it's like saying, well, you had a temper tantrum. You hit right. your girlfriend, and you know what? All is all is fine now. And you just hear it I don't everywhere know about too. When it comes to abuse like that, physical abuse, mm -hmm. especially between a man and a woman that yes. are in a relationship, yes, it happens once. All, nine times out of ten, it happens it's gonna happen again. again. Exactly. And so you just kind of hate. You have hate to look to at see statistics. That, it's always like okay. You know, they're always asked for forgiveness. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, mm -hmm. and it happens again. And you kind of want to see somebody be strong and, and yeah, stay I agree. away from that and, and cut it out of their lives. And but. she can have anybody she wants. She Let's face the music sure. here. Both songs did hit the internet this week, and both Rihanna and Brown have been pushing the songs on Twitter. And the songs seem to be proving the rumors. I mean, the, the rumors that Rihanna has forgiven him for beating her up and is willing to move on are pretty prominent right now. So, you know, to each his own, We, you know, we can't judge too much, but no. at the same time, I think that she should look into somebody who's going to treat her like a lady with some respect, right? right? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's, you know, second chances are always there. It's always good to give a second chance. So yeah. maybe give them the benefit of the doubt, hopefully. Well, let's let's just hope we'll for both of their <laughs> sake. Yes. In the meantime, this morning was still really cold, but not as windy. Yeah, it was a lot better with the wind, mm -hmm. but it was chilly this morning. We started Oof. off at 25 degrees, but yesterday we had to battle the winds. And I have a picture and then someone sent in of the winds. Can you tell what that is? Mm -mm. Those are trash bags, like the plastic trash bags, what? you know, the little recyclable bags. Um, That's what that is? Yeah, look at the mess, just oh blown all up against that fence there. So somebody had a mess <laughs> the cleanup. Ivan sent that one in. Thanks, wow. Ivan.